TGIF everybody. Welcome to the shop. What is going on fish heads? Jen Crevasi, Jekyll Bates. Happy Friday or whenever you watch this video. I know I always say that, but I never know when you guys are hopefully you're going to watch it soon. You want to see what's going on at the shop this morning. What do you guys think of the lights? Lights are cool. I've uh, made some modifications and continual modifications are happening here in the shop. I just need more room and I need to figure out how to make that happen without being able to expand the walls in the shop. Um, who knows? There's a lot going on, a lot that I can't talk about. But in the meantime, I can talk about this stuff right here. Um, quite a bit coming off the clear coat rack. Some stuff. I can show you, let's see, what can I show? Oh, I can show you this crappie. We're going to start with this crappie. This is going out for a customer. Repaint here. It feels like everything's super shiny this morning, like the lights are way too bright. But this is what's up. This is that really cool flip-flop paint, iridescent paint. Or it does give off quite that sheen. Fun little crappie. You guys were digging on this the other day. And there it is. See? It's not not just any time, it's all the time. That is green into purple. It's really good paint, y'all. You guys are always asking me what it is. It's schminky. Costs about $41 an ounce. An ounce. That's like a shot of whiskey or ginger ale. I don't know what you guys drink. Uh, <clears throat> but it's expensive. But it's just, it's beautiful, beautiful paint. Some of the best I've ever seen. This is going out to John Chung. And I've got, my throat is like really scratchy. So there's, Arkansas is a few states removed from the West Coast in California. But we can we can feel that smoke coming across the United States. And my throat's been scratchy like for a week. Oh, it's just it's not a fun feeling, and I'm all stuffy. So they say that that's what it is. Yeah, this little DRT Clash Nine for John. Fun bait, fun bait. Off the clear coat rack this morning, this is a Sakana. It is a dark red into fluorescent red into an orange, a little green on the face. A little bit of hand, almost anime um, cartoon type detailing, which is one of the feature points on that bait. I've got some cool stuff. Um, this is going out for Davis. He asked for now this is this is from Matt Thayer. So Matt Thayer, I think if I have my story straight, made this split jitterbug, this popper. And um, Davis asked for a real cool frog pattern. So we got that done for him. And what I do, I probably am doing the same stuff that Nate does over at Marling Bates because I don't work with wood as often as I do ABS plastics. Um, but if it's untreated, then and straight out of the, the package, if it's brand new bait, then I seal it with super glue and I let that kind of hang out and get groovy. And then I clear coat it twice and then I'll prime it and then I'll clear coat it again and then I'll do the detail layers and then it gets two more and good thing kbs is super thin or i wouldn't be able to get away with all the weight that i put on this bait but it's not it's kbs is really really thin stuff so it's pretty easy to work with just takes a little bit longer to uh to cure up than if you're doing like a uv or something like that but yeah very cool fun little frog pattern going out this morning i have a couple more frog patterns and then you guys probably saw Drogon last night. I still get requests to do um, for the throne type stuff which is really awesome. I love doing that from time to time and it 
makes me miss the, the books and the series. I wish uh, G.R.R. Martin would get on get on finishing the Winds of Winter. That would be awesome. But I'm sure he gets hounded by enough people. This is the American Frog. It's a two-piece going out this morning. Also a cool pattern. It's uh, Brian Best over at Anarchy. His stenciling. And then the four piece, you saw the Sakana, that's part of it. We'll get uh, the rest of it together. This is the Targaryen slash Drogon. Jetson Lure Eyes. Got the scales that are kind of transparent over top of the fire inside the dragon. And of course, red and black representing House Targaryen is what the customer requested and I also put Sadrisis Bustare Iskos Daur which is a dragon is not a slave. It's one of the famous quotes from Daenerys Targaryen in the show so I figured since they wanted the throne pattern that I would add that in to the base layers of this one. So cool little pop. It's a gill through. I've shown you a bunch of times how I clear that out. You can see that there's no residue in there. Look at these eyes. I'm looking at this through the camera monitor. I'm like, man, those eyes are just super cool. John, good job. Fantastic eyes. Look at how reflective they are. Love it. But that is Targaryen. Also, he requested this one. I think it was a he. Never know. I'll have to go back and look at the order. If it's not a he, I apologize. Just this Delta Crawl. And the breeding bluegill, you know, I was looking at that fat belly lipless pattern on the website and I decided that I, I can do way better. So this is the ultimate gill will replace it. You guys are asking when I'm going to have that available on the, um, the baby bull sheds. Not until after October the 11th. So probably look for it mid-October going into the Christmas season. And there's a reason for that. So this is that real pretty gill, the ultimate gill. So that is the four piece right here. And then I've got a couple of babies that I'll show you guys. This beautiful bullnose minnow. Yeah, don't quote me on the bullnose. I think that's a bullnose. I looked at the reference photo last night at like 11 o'clock when I was spraying this. I've been working like mad crazy late nights for the past three weeks. So my, my days start about 5.30 in the morning. They've been finishing up around midnight. So I am pretty wiped out. So if that's not a bull nose, then you just have to bear with me and correct me. Tell me what it is. Somebody was like the other day on Instagram, they're like, that's not a green sunfish that's a long ear and then I re-looked at the picture and I'm like yeah yeah they're close it could be either we'll just I've already titled it green minnow or green sunfish so just bear with my my sleepiness this is probably one of the few baby bass that you'll ever see me do I'm putting it out here um just because but if you look at stats in what sells on a pattern it this is like at the bottom this is almost as specialized even though bass are everywhere as like a rainbow trout pattern there are very few places that actually go after these as bait fish not saying that bass don't eat bass sure they do but as far as the the marketability of a bass for some reason nobody buys them and I don't know why that is. It's just one of those little mysteries that who knows why, why things are the way they are. But, um, and that's not just, you know, for swim baits. That's like everyone, everyone that has that pattern from Strike King to Rapala to whoever out there, um, Normans, all that stuff. It's Rascal drinking out of the super, I tell him it's got superpower water. In it so he drinks that before he drinks it. I don't know he just likes it it's the cat bowl water but rascal the dog feels like he has to drink it so if you guys can hear that in the background that little collar that's his rabies tag beating against the 
yeah, enough about that. So yeah, I, it's it's like the one of the least popular selling patterns in the history of lures. So interesting, interesting little factoid there. Fact check me, it's the truth. Um, also, a little bit more of a magenta. I don't even know. I'm sleepy, folks. This is like a like a magenta. It's a darker version of the striped bass. And this is um, this is not that um, flip flop paint. This is just like a an ink, an iridescent ink, and it still has really cool properties. But you can see that the purple is always there. Like it doesn't go away unless you hit it with light. Um, but yeah, it's not it's not the it's not the expensive stuff on this. Although that can be, if you guys want me to start spraying it, I can up the price on them. But this will work just fine with regular thin. This is reduced paint, and these inks are uh, FW inks. I just feel like I'm dragging this morning. I'm really sleepy. I'm not struggling, struggling, but I'm super, super sleepy. But that's what I've got for you guys this morning. Um, I will pull you guys out of the cradle real quick to show you what I have got to tackle here in just a little bit. All of these is this, and I've got three orders I want to get sprayed today in rotation. So, and I've got, there's, off the website, there's like eight or nine of these are website orders, and the rest are going to Virginia for the gathering. That's what I'm doing with these, I can tell you that much. Anyways, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. TGIF, happy Friday. Love you, mean it, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers, and happy casting from Jekyll Bates. Mm -hmm.